Hello, and thank you for finding my video. My name is Bill. I want to share a brief story with you. Uh, I have a son going to college, and my wife had an idea about starting a photo booth business. Um, I myself had, had looked at it previously at building, uh, how to build one, and I thought, what the heck? Uh, the turnkey prices are very expensive. Did not want to go that route, wanted to build my own. So two resources that I use online, two places, ReliableHardware.com and DIYRoadCases.com. Two great places to check it out. Uh, ReliableHardware.com has lots of videos and they even have laminated plywood. Uh, something you will need is plywood. Uh, I could not go with the laminated plywood. I chose to do it myself. I will be doing my own lamination. But if you are local and can get it locally, get it locally. Let's talk about the parts real quick. Um, parts and tools. Uh, basic tools. Uh, you may not have all these tools. Uh, the must tools is a rubber mallet, hacksaw, J roller for laminating and rolling on the laminate, a chisel, a Attilio knife to cut your linolo, lino, uh, linoleum, uh, your laminate. Uh, you may want to use other types of tools as well, but that's one. Uh, ruler, marking tools, uh, a, a drill, you'll need a rivet, handgun, uh, if you want to do uh, hydraulic, that's great, uh, if you have that, that tools. Tape measure, you will need to have spray lamination for your laminate uh, to glue that on. Uh, I purchased two different sizes for the lens hole, um, I don't know, I might get either a small one over a bigger one. I did buy a few extras. I, I even bought more than what you see here. Um, uh, I may want to use them to use cable running through both cases. If you've already uh, uh, done some research, you're going to know what I mean by top and bottom tapes. Um, I have some other uh, uh, grommet holes, uh, covers, and maybe, maybe run cable through that. Uh, some of the hardware that's going to be needed are corners, aluminum corners, uh, piano hinges, uh, as well as uh, aluminum to go on the lip of the cases for when they go together, when they clamp together when traveling. If it snaps apart, these two go together when, when the cases actually close. I've cut a lot of my aluminum already. Um, uh, just using the hacksaw, did all that in probably about two hours uh, without an electronic tool. Um, some of the other tools, uh, hardware is going to give you some latches. Uh, handles, latches, feet. I went ahead and bought the uh, shinning uh, feet as well. I want that thing level when it is uh, taking those photos. I decided to put a cooling fan in my booth. I may as put as many as two we're going to see. Uh, casters, corners, rivets. This is not all of them, but back washers. You're going to need up to 500 rivets, so go buy more, buy the 500. You might have some left over, but you're going to need that. And uh, you're going to need a plan, you're going to need a graph, you're going to need uh, what you're drawing, uh, what you're going to be doing with it. And uh, I drew this out with uh, very much help from ReliableHardware.com. They have a page on their site that will list out how to build a booth and the parts that you'll need to buy. It's great. Um, all the parts you need to buy. When cutting your parts, be cautious about measurements and not painting yourself in a corner, so to speak, and cutting your pieces to long lengths, lengths, lengths to start out because you'll run out of aluminum. So what you want to make sure you're doing is you're cutting the big, you're cutting as many pieces as possible per length of aluminum that you have. Keep that in mind. Uh, I got my plywood from Home Depot, had them cut it. Keep in mind that Home Depot does not do precise cuts. So go a little bit larger, uh, maybe trim it up if you need to, but at least the wood's already cut close to measurement. So you may need to cut a little bit more, you may not. Um, clamps, clamp your wood down. Got several types. Um, all, of, all of this is, is needed, um, but you could buy a little bit less of the tools, but of course, the tool, the better the tool, the better the project. Keep that in mind. Uh, lastly, I want to talk about is um, uh, 
the lamination. My next video will be actually lamination.